the idea of 60 percent of us is if imagine if 60 percent of youth turn out to vote um what that would mean basically is that young people would determine the outcome of the elections and so for me it's not necessarily about the level of active participation and engagement at this point what matters at the end is the final result if young people did translate or tra transfer this political strength or this numerical strength into the political power it needs to over and to influence the outcome and why do i say this in 2015 2019 um we had young people persons between 18 to 35 where um as at based on the INEC data considered about 51.1 percent of registered voters however post the elections youth participate or youth turnout for the presidential election was at 28 percent so you can imagine that out of that we had 51.1 percent youth registered in 2019 but only 28 percent you turned out to vote in 2019 and so so and we had a lot of young people who seemed very interested pre the elections period but we could not translate that in fact lagos was really sad because <laughs> lagos had over 40 percent youth registration but you turnout was about 4.8 percent 4.8 percent for presidential elections in lagos so you can also imagine that sometimes you have the large number you have high participation but at the end, what matters truly is those who go out and to vote. And you made an important point around the PVC. Yes, the PVC, PVC would determine a lot of things, and we would wait for INEC to release the final data, although I worry that INEC may not be able to disaggregate um, or based on age and all of that once data is out. But let us do some level of trend analysis um, when it comes to youth part political participation. And I'm a huge fan of promoting inclusion, especially for youth participation, because I believe that young the, the country is a young nation nigeria is a young country it's made up of vibrant active intelligent young people and young people actually do have the power to influence the outcome of an election so, however i feel like over a long period of time and um, we've had a major challenge of one understanding how to transform this number into the power that we need to influence the outcome and secondly is around organizing properly around the issues that matter to us i think there are different um there are different ways um, there are different um, there are gaps within that and why do I and I'm glad we'll be talking so, so much later around things around the council culture because when it comes to politics um, the idea of co um, competitive elections is that we're having debates around issues and we're letting those issues influence how people vote um, however um, one of the things we're beginning to see is that there's a, there's a like if, so if you think around 2015 in 2015 you had every you had like it was as if young people were going to influence the total outcome and everything was going to be dependent on you because youth registration was, was also high. However, in that particular election, it was almost it was just a, about conversations around who was what, what was the majority or, or how do we vote as a people. So at the end of it, what we had was basically pre-elections, a lot of young people engaging, but on elections day, turnout was um, youth turnout wasn't and um, was low, but post elections youth participation also dwindled mm -hmm. so it's almost like this is almost a trend that so, so that's what i'm saying it shows that, shows that, that pre-election that they're watching have, movies and playing football no no but it, it does because that's what data shows us so why i'm happy to see this conversation yesterday we're having a question in the office and i'm and the question was i wish this energy i'm seeing mm -hmm. on twitter mm -hmm. on facebook and all the other places i go to we have several forward conventions are happening that this uh, this kind of activism and this kind of energy that it really does translate to vote on elections day because at the end of it all voting is a is it's 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 a civic responsibility but it also comes with some level of sacrifice and we know that the voting process is not as easy as we'd want it to be because there are some stress that comes with that be it standing in the queue for a long while or waiting for things to work or waiting to or dealing with the heat of the sun but what we begin what we are beginning to see is at the end of the day the young people or the youth number that should influence the outcome is not what finally influences the outcome. Mm -hmm. You have the other generation who still turn out to vote. And for these elections, actually, youth registration is barely 40%, so 39.6% youth registration. However, even at that number, it's still about 37 million of the 93 point, point something million registered voters. So even at 40% youth registration, if out of this 40 percent about 80 percent collect their permanent voters card or have or have collected their permanent voters card because that process is over and out of that 80 percent of the 40 that that got their pvc they come out to vote honestly youth would influence the elections and can swing it anyway and for me that is what i'm looking forward to i love the engagement the conversation the everywhere i go i see people say i will vote i, will, I love that 
spirit but i'm i'm a bit cautiously optimistic mm. just because of <laughs> um, experience